Hello, 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 and welcome back to Bike Matters. Today we're focusing on the scooters of the future as we run down 10 of the best electric scooters you can buy in 2021. The electric market has surged recently, if you'll pardon the pun, with electric options becoming the transport of choice for commuters around towns and cities. Low running costs, environmentally friendly, and stunningly silent, there are some obvious advantages to going electric. This list will have a varied mix of budgets and capabilities, so hopefully there's something for everyone. Cue the intro. In at 10 we have the Artisan EV2000R. Are you wanting to go green but would like something a bit more retro? The Artisan EV2000R might well be the scooter for you. If you're a fan of old school Vespa designs from the 60s, then you'll love the look of this. This one can be purchased with either a single or a dual battery, though do expect to pay more for that second battery. A single battery will cover around 25 miles. Running two batteries will pretty much double that. Built with mods in mind, Artisan do have a few colorway options and seat color options, so there's a choice for most people without forking out loads of cash for modifications. This retro beauty is in at the cheaper end of the market, starting at just £2,695. At number 9 we have the Ecooter E1R. The Ecooter E1R is a very simple looking scooter. Two colourway options available on this one, white or black. You probably won't need much time deciding on your choice of colour. The E1R is an equivalent to a 125cc, so at minimum, you'll need to be 17 and hold a valid CBT to ride this one on the roads in the UK. This simplistic and modern scooter does also pack some extra features. It runs an energy recovery system, or ERS for short, to help feed a little extra power to the batteries while on the go. The battery is in fact a Samsung cell, which comes with a three year or 30,000 kilometer warranty for that extra peace of mind. It also packs a HD digital dash, a smart key, along with an anti-theft alarm and a movement sensor. So the E1R does pack quite a lot for an affordable price of £2,640. In at eight, we have our first entry from a big bike scooter manufacturer, the E-Ludix from Peugeot. The standard Ludix has been around for over 15 years now and has sold over a quarter of a million units worldwide. So this is definitely a model with plenty of history. The C version of the Ludix packs a Bosch motor and battery, so the equipment used here should be top notch. The battery and motor do seem a bit down when compared to some of the competitors out there, but the Peugeot is a great option if you'd rather stick to a well-known brand. Prices for this one start at £3,439.20. Taking the number seven spot is the Super Soko CUX. There are a few really nice colorway options for the CUX, but the Ducati Special Edition that you're seeing here really is stunning for an electric scooter. The CUX, like the rest of the 50cc equivalents, are designed with purely short and slow urban journeys in mind, where you have no need to get above 30 miles per hour or go beyond its range of 30 to 40 miles. Super Soko though do like to go that little bit further with their offerings, the styling alone will be a big factor when compared to some of its competitors. Onto the extra features and these include a nice clear LCD screen, keyless tech with motion activated alarm, EBS assistant and app integration. Prices for this one start at £2,249. At number 6 we have the Lifan E3. Now this is one of the most budget friendly options coming in at just under two grand, but please don't let the price tag fool you, the Lifan still offers a lot for your money. With an EBS braking system, under seat storage and a USB charging port, along with a Bosch 1.5 kilowatt motor, the Lifan offers a cheap way of commuting around towns and cities. Lifan Eco bikes have been available for a few years now and it seems to be one of the most popular electric mopeds purchased in the UK. Even in my local area, I can think of a few dealers stocking Lifan, so the brand of bikes must have a lot of trust. As I said, the prices start from £1,995. Just before we reveal the top five, I want to take a quick break here to mention Lexham Insurance. They help power us at Bike Matters. 
Lexham have great rates on electric scooters and motorcycle insurance. So if you're in the UK and you're looking for a quote, click the link in the top right hand corner now and they'll give you £20 off. If you're enjoying this video, do not forget to drop a like and we'll recap at the end. At number five, we have the Reju Nuke Tracker. Now admittedly, before I started my research, I didn't know loads about the Nuke Tracker. I'm glad I had a look into it though, because it really does offer that something different. It's available as a cargo bike and a standard option too. And the Tracker offers some impressive specs and stats, boasting an impressive 10.5 kilowatt Bosch motor and two kilowatt hour batteries. The Nuke Tracker can get above 60 miles an hour and cover a range of up to 50 miles, which is rather impressive. The standard charge time is five hours. You can pay an extra and have fast charge, which can get you fully charged in just over an hour. As you expect, there's a nice large digital dash, a phone app and four rider modes to suit your needs. The Nuke Tracker is one of the most expensive options on this list, but it does feature a powerful motor and sizable batteries. So it's not a surprise. Prices start from £5,599. In at four, we have the big dog of the list. It's the incredible C Evolution from BMW. Arguably, the BMW C Evolution could sit at the top of any electric scooter list. For me though, as it's on the expensive side, the C Evolution sits just outside the top three. It's the only maxi scooter on this list, so you would expect it to lead the way with performance, and it does. Then again, it should with a starting price of just over 14,000 pounds with an incredible 35 kilowatt motor, making the C Evolution capable of reaching 74 miles per hour and impressive batteries that can help you get up to 100 miles in range, this BMW really does pack incredible stats. If judged purely on technology and performance, the BMW is sit at the top of any modern scooter electric list. However, I'm taking the cost into account, so this impressive beastie will just have to sit at number four for now. As I say, the price for this one is 14,000, £330. In at number three, we have the Vespa Electrica. Scooter manufacturing legends Vespa grabbed the headlines in November 2016 when they unveiled their first full electric scooter, the Electrica. A premium offering with styling reminiscent of the hugely popular Primavera, the Electrica is a great looking scooter and is sure to be popular. The Electrica is based upon those typical classic Vespa lines, a great mix of classic and modern styling. With a decent range, the Vespa can get over 100 kilometers on one charge, though this model variant, the FEL1, is a 50cc equivalent, the top speed is unlikely to get past 30 miles per hour. Like most modern electric scooters, the Electrica also runs a Kerr system and has a nice 4.3 inch color TFT dash. If you'd like to know more about this one, you can check out our review in the link in the description. Prices start from £4,955. In at number two, we have our second Super Soaker on the list, the CPX. A fantastic spec make the CPX a truly great electric scooter, pushing all the boundaries even further and gaining on the performance of a combustion engine 125. The CPX is a great all-round option with decent modern looks, good top speed, great range and respectable charge time. Oh, and a price tag of just £3,599. The CPX had a successful first year in 2020 and I can see it repeating itself in 2021. As expected, the CPX has some cool features too, such as app connectivity, USB charging port, extra thick cushion seat and powerful LED lighting. And so our number one spot is taken by the new NGT. The NGT is a fun little scooter, perfect for nipping around towns and cities. With a great range of up to 60 miles and a performance that will allow you to get around 45 miles per hour, the NGT offers that slightly better performance and range, so you know it has the extra capability if you ever need it. The NGT packs some great features, such as an awesome full color dash, app connectivity, USB port, EBS, anti-theft system, GPS tracking and even cruise control. Not bad for just over three grand if the UK grant is used. We were able to get a test ride on one of these late 2019 and as you can see if you've watched the video, Brett thoroughly enjoyed his time on this little electric scooter. 
The styling might be a bit Marmite for some, but personally, we really like it. The futuristic and sleek design of the NGT is great. And as I said earlier, the full colored dash just looks amazing. It looks quite sporty with that little handlebar fairing at the front too. It's the all-round performance and budget-friendly price that makes the new NGT the Bike Matters number one electric scooter for 2021. Prices start, as I've said, from £3,196. So there you go. Those are my choices for the best electric scooters currently available in the UK during 2021. Not everyone is going to share the same opinion and maybe we've missed out on a blinder. So let me know what you think the list should have been and what you would have had at number one. Do you want to know more about electric scooters? Well, you can check out Brett's full review on the Vespa Electrica or the new NGT by clicking the links in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. It really does help us out. If you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all the future content coming in the rest of 2020. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.